Let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of improvement here in our application, right? So things are working fine. There's a lot of faulty things that we could obviously fix. And I'll let those to be something that you can do in your own time as you learn more, okay? But there's a one thing I would like to show you here, or a few things I should say, that would improve our app usability. Okay, first thing here you notice, as we go through our application, let's say I say it's false or it's true, I can keep going false is true and it's adding more points here right that's not necessarily the best thing to have in a trivia app right so one way to solve this i'll let the other better way to solve this for you to figure out okay that's another challenge we love challenges as developers but one thing we can do to kind of help us a little bit here or help the user is to make it so that whenever they click on false for instance or true whatever the outcome is we are going to move to the next question as opposed to waiting for them or us, the people using this application, to click next, right? So that makes sense. They will still be able to click next and go to next question, but to prevent them from having to select the same answer twice, that would help a little bit. We need to do that, okay? Good, so how do we do that? Let's think through for a second here. So the idea is to literally get this functionality here for our next to happen whenever we click either true or false, right? Yes, so what we can do is just invoke those methods whenever we do the false or true, right? We already have the update question here, which what it does, it goes ahead and gets the new question and moves forward. In fact, let's fix this real quick here so that uh, we don't get that yellow squeaky line. All right, so there's different ways to do this. So we can go ahead and just call this update question, which does all the updating really, the moment that we have answered the question. Now, where do we call it though? Let's think about it. We have this fade and shake animation. So these are actually called inside of uh, whether the answer is correct or answer is fault, right? So it would be kind of helpful if we actually called inside of what? Inside of those methods. Because we want to make sure also that before we go to the next question, right, because that's going to be automatic, that we want to make sure that the animation is over. Because the last thing we want to do is to click on true, and the question in this case is going to be true, the answer is true indeed, and just take right away the users without finishing the animation. That would not be good. Hence, we had this set animation listener where we can track where the animation is happening. Ah, look at that. Clever, isn't it? So there were other reasons why we decided to add this animation listener. Very good. So where do you think that would be a good place to put the update question again? Well, the update question would be really good to put after the animation is done, right? So that would be where? Here. The moment the animation is done, the card is back to white. We're going to move to the second one. So let's give it a try. I'm going to say update question like that. And of course, we're going to do the same thing when it's wrong. So when we're shaking, so we're going to go back to when it's done. We're going to call the update question as well. Now, the problem here may not be very clear at this point. So this will work. It's working fine, but it's not quite working. Why? Well, when we update question, remember what happens when we say next, right? Let's see where we are doing next. Well, when we click next or previous, what we need to do actually is to make sure that our current index is also being updated. So we actually need to do this. So I'm going to copy all of this like that and put inside of our, this is when things are correct. No, this is when it's wrong. So we need to come up to when things are correct first. And I'm going to add it here like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for when things are not correct like that. Because we are always going to go and move forward. Right? So let's save this now and uh, do a quick run here. We should be able to get the results that we want. So starts at here. I'm going to say false. Look at that. The moment that the animation was over, it went ahead and got the next question. Let's say this is also false. That's true. Goes to the next one. I'm going to say that's true, that's wrong, goes to the next one. So the moment it's wrong, obviously, just keeps going to the next one. And let's see, I'm going to say false, that's true, goes to the next one. And false, again, that's true, I'm going to say true. See, it's keep going. That's false, goes to the next one, 
that is false that's true goes to next one so it is indeed working as expected so that is very good that's really really, really good the other thing we can do we can refactor this code here because we, it's being repeated right so i'm going to copy this create another method at the bottom here i'm going to say private void go next okay so that way we can just call this method whenever we need it so i'm going to say copy get rid of this and also do the same here and of course in our next button i'm just going to copy put it go next like this All right very good so of course this one is going to keep there because we are making sure that we don't go minus zero right which is not what we want so this we can leave as it is very good so we did a little restructuring there not a big deal and if we keep running this of course it's going to still work right so our highest is going to be 900 still because we haven't beat that let's say false look at that we go to the next question go next question we can still go to the following question that's totally fine it still works say false I'll go to the next question and so forth so things are now working as we want it so we have solved a little bit of that problem here of course they can still go back and figure out that question that's totally fine but at least we're giving the user this ability to say okay as you go through we are making sure that you're actually going to the next question each time whether you got it right or wrong all right very good so that is another little thing that kind of helps the usability of our app